Hey everyone, this is Terry and Rosie. This is our first night in the Philippines. The beginning of our journey, and this is a, a place we rented. Um, it's really early in the morning, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. We gotta be up, uh, kids are coming over to pick us up, and we're heading towards the airport about five, so. Just wanted to share, give you an update on our journey here. So, we're started off with, uh, this is a place we got, and this was um, nearly 2,000 paces, about 1,900 paces. Has a little bat toilet. Uh, and uh, here's a little sink and mirror and a little smoke glass, plus it's steamed up because I showered. And here's a little shower, same thing in here, a little, about the same size room and shower. It does have hot water. And uh, you can kind of judge for yourself. I'm not going to say anything overly negative or positive. It is what it is. Uh, a little single dual beds. It seems, you know, nice. Um, has a sprinkler system. It's raining outside. This is our view here. So I thought it was okay. So it's raining out again. It's rained in every city since we've come over here. So this is a... Uh, kind of a suburb of Manila. So Manila has a, it's a very big city. And uh, so there's big fancy tall buildings when you get into town and the expensive side, but this is where we stayed tonight. And this is our view out our window. I guess we're on the second story, maybe third, I believe it's second. So this is like the suburbs of Manila. The airport's over that way with the bright lights somewhere over that way, I believe, where we flew in. So kids brought us over here and set us up here. So I had a little TV. Uh, so I believe it's Sunday the 15th. Don't quote me on that because it's such a time change because uh, you go, I believe we went 12 hours into the future. So we went from Fry left leaving on Friday, arriving here Friday, uh, Saturday night, actually. But we only traveled 12, 15 hours. So yeah, it's uh, like time warp slingshot, but we're getting ready to go out because we haven't quite finished. We got to go to a Elo Elo uh, this morning. Our flight's, I think, around eight o'clock. So that's our last leg of the journey to, as far as t a plane ride. And we're going to go over, uh, finish that off. Like I said, be at the airport here around 5.30, 6 o'clock, hopefully, and uh, get in line, get everything done, and get on the plane around 8 and uh, go over to Elo Elo. And then uh, the kids have arranged uh, a vehicle of some sort to pick us up and uh, and take us back to the house. So I guess it may be the rainy season or what they would call winter, but... I'll share a little bit of my ex my personal experience that how I felt um, my initial feeling of uh, just day one. Keep in mind, I'm exhausted. I've not slept in a couple days, hardly. Everything's new to me. We're getting here at, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night, and this is what I see. So initially flying in i'm nervous and excited the plane lands i'll kind of share my story up to this point after being here less than 24 hours like i said this is essentially we've only been here six hours less than six because we didn't get over here till about midnight i'll sh talk why we look out the window here we didn't get over here to this uh little hotel motel till about uh, midnight and then we're up here again at three four in the morning um you know getting ready to leave it's now 4 30 and it's raining my phone says 4 30 so i don't know what the actual time because it's i don't know if it's keeping up with the time here it seems to be pretty close because when it was getting dark it you know was seemed to be the correct time so it's got to be close Anyhow, it's showing 4.30 right now in the morning, and it's dark out. And the kids are supposed to come over around 5 if uh, we're all on the same page. So 
just just noon, but when I landed on there uh, on the plane, the plane landed at the airport, Manila Nash International Airport. I don't know what if that's the name of it, but it's you land in Manila and you get off the plane and uh, first thing it hit me was just the warm weather. I mean, it was like a sauna, like somebody left the shower on in the winter time for. 15, 30 minutes, and it was really warm and feeling. So I actually like that. <laughs> and uh, so, and then uh, we walked through the terminal and there's lots of people. And uh, I got a little thing I thought was, you know, positive on, uh, real positive on that. When we left America in Dayton, Ohio at the Dayton International Airport, I'm just gonna keep looking at the window here. We might move it around, but you know, we were really scrutinized and we had to go in and out of line because uh, this wasn't quite right. Or, and I think we just had a bad age, a, agent assisting us, but we essentially almost didn't make the t plane uh, fare or the trip that day because we they were giving us such a hard time with everything and saying, you know, we, uh, needed a return ticket and we couldn't do the uh, 13a visa you know marriage one that we've uh, both all call called about and said that's the way to go and what we were going under finally another agent after the one left that was giving us a hard time stepped in and corrected everything and we were able to make the flight now back to the story about uh Coming here, so we get off in Manila. It's the state capital of the Philippines. Um, you know, it's it's as nice as a city as you know anything in the world, really. You know, it's very modern, has nice things. So we get off there, and we're going up to this line, uh, and there's hundreds of, uh, yeah, so two, three hundred people at least in this line. And so uh, another Philippine uh, security agent or airport agent comes up to us and says to Rosie, you're Filipino, uh, me and you, me and her don't have to go in this line. They have a special line. So we got, they funneled us over to this other line. They had at least a dozen tellers and uh, we were in and out of there and I was through the gate being an expat within five minutes. Uh, hardly any checking. They check, they check, but just, you know, breezed you through. They check the ticket. They check the, your uh, vaccine status or whatever, but very quick, very professional, very courteous. Uh, and my home country was uh, quite, you know, at least the initial response with one agent was quite the opposite. So just really shocked me uh, how that was because I thought being an expat, we, I'd just be you know, drugged through the mud and scrutinized and really searched and analyzed everything that I was doing. But because I was married to Rose and we were coming under that visa and I, you have special privileges and and they certainly were. They treated uh, treated Rosie and me in the highest regard, and that really impressed me. And I hope that, and I believe that's just the start over here with impressive things. So then we uh, got to the airport gates, and her daughter and her friend was there, and they were just uh, as cute as can be, and you know, helpful. They, Juliet, actually, you know, paid for my. Uh, ticket on the uh, uh, cab fare to come over to the hotel. She arranged this and found this place for me. And again, that's so refreshing when you, where you come from, you know, in the United States and my experiences over there, it's like pulling teeth to get friends and family a lot of times. I, you know, I've gotten help, but it's over here, just they uh, go over and uh, above and beyond. Uh, we've got our other daughter, already arranged a ride for us when we get to Elo Elo and they're making a, you know, having a party for us. And they just really had the hospitality and the friendliness of the Philippine people uh, 
I just echo that once again. And I've only been in the country uh, four or five hours now. So very impressed with that. And, uh, and this, you know, like I said, Manila is really modern. I was expecting to see jeepneys here. I know they have them in, you know, in the city and out in other places, very prevalent. But at the airport, it was just as modern as uh, a lot of them in the United States. They're, all I seen was cars, all kinds of nice cars, lots of people. And, uh, and like I said, but the weather just was so welcoming because I left Ohio in the cold and snow and the weather was tropical even though it was raining it, everybody was i was wishing i was in my shorts the girl uh her daughter and her friend was in shorts and shirt sleeve and it actually started raining a little bit but it was the type of weather where it was like a warm shower so it wasn't really that bad but so far so good uh like i said this is only four or five hours into the uh experience so far but i wanted to make a little update and that's my thoughts on it. So, so this place is about forty dollars American that we got. It's a one bedroom with two half beds. It is in the city. Um, you know, I don't think it's you know bad as stuff. Yeah, I just uh, be interested and in see what you guys think. Like I said, two little a shower room and a toilet room and a sink, and that's what you walk in the door here. And uh, they were very good service and friendly. They carted, you know, put it on a nice uh, trolley and wheeled up all our luggage because we had everything we brought to uh, live here uh, that we were bringing on the plane, at least. We sent 15, 20 other boxes, but this is our luggage we brought. So he carted that up. And so, like I said, a little TV, had a phone, you know, uh, it does have air con and when he start turn that on I thought boy that's kind of pitiful um, it didn't make a lot of noise or do nothing and within like 10 15 minutes I had to well, I turned it off over the night so I, I never used any air conditioning didn't open the window I'd say it's about 75 degrees in here maybe but feels quite comfortable so I was just shocked uh, being from Ohio I thought I was going to burn up and but uh didn't even need it and uh that really impressed me the way that works because it made minimum noise and icy cold and i was laying here on the bed here next to the window and had to get up within an hour of being here and turn it off because i was going to be frozen so that worked really good so that's my update uh there's going to be uh one, two, three videos a day as I can. I'm struggling right now with all the uh, electrical stuff, uh, these power plugs, and I don't, you know, I don't understand all these things if that's 220 or 110 and what I need to do. Just got here, but nothing is working for me, so my cell phone's about ready to go kaput on the battery, and I uh, have no way to charge it at this time. I know it can be resolved. I just it's got here at midnight and it's four in the morning, so haven't done it this time. And I'm nervous about blowing up my thousand dollar phone. So, all right, uh, that's it. So, positive vibes and well wishes and much love to everybody out there. And thanks for tuning in and watching. And, uh, Bye for now. Hey, Rosie, you want to say bye to everybody? Bye-bye. Okay, thanks for subscribing and liking our channel. So you're going to see a lot more of this Sorry, type. Sorry, you are so exhausted. <laughs> yeah, we're, like I said, uh, less than two or three hours of sleep last night and about the same yesterday. So we're running on fumes, and but we're making it. So hoping for good things. So uh, you're going to see all kinds of videos like this, food, pricing, uh, the channel is full Philippine journey now. We are out of America. This is the future. We're going to start showing you resorts, uh, simple experiences just like this, everyday uh, humdrum problems. And and you're going to hear uh, hear the gospel from Terry and Rosie from the Philippines, as my, or at least our experiences as we see it. So... 
Take care, everybody, and stay tuned. There'll be many more, so I don't know when I'm going to get this loaded up because uh, uh, I have to have Wi-Fi or get, you know, my phone isn't working hardly at this point, so so don't know how all that's going to go, but as I get stuff done, you'll be seeing one to three or four videos a day. Uh, you know, just depends on the day and what we're doing, but I want to share the whole experience with you from start to finish. Thanks everybody. Take care.